Hey, welcome back to the Girl Be Free podcast. I'm your host, Siobhan, your clarity cultivator and founder of Be Free Project. I help women who are ready to flourish, feel fulfilled, and be free to show up for themselves. I am extremely passionate about community, sisterhood, and personal growth. So if that's your jam, you are in the right place. And now let's get into the show. Hey, hey, welcome back. I'm so glad to be in your ears for another week. So first, let me share what I am loving this week, which is the album called Manifestation by Chris N. T. And that's C-H-R-I-S dash N dash T T E E B. And I first heard about this album when I was scrolling on IG stories and my friend Jessica from No Real Jury and the Sunday Jumpstart, um, I actually interviewed her for the Chasing Free series. So if you haven't listened to that episode, go back and listen to it. But anywho, she had shared their album in her stories and I was like, oh, let me go listen. And I listened and was hooked. Let me tell you, I listen to this album every single day, every single day. And it's so beautiful. I mean, it's affirmations over really dope beats and it's an EP. So it's only about five songs, I believe on it, but you can play it on repeat over and over and over again. And so because I love it so much, I shared it in my IG stories several times and people have been saying, girl, thank you for this. I even shared it in the Be Free Inner Circle with my members and they're loving it as well. And I'm just in awe of this album. And what's so dope is that the artists from the album reached out to me, thanking me for my support and helping them spread the word, which I thought was really sweet that they took time to do that. So I'm going to share a link to the album in my show notes definitely take a listen to it. Reach out to me on IG. My handle is at Be Free Project and let me know what you think of it. And I'm sure you're going to love it just like me. All right. So on to today's topic, which is all about emotional freedom. So if you've been listening for a while, you know that personal growth is my jam. I've been on this journey for several years and personal growth is one of my top values. Like I'm always trying to grow and to become better and to become the best version of myself. However, I haven't always been this way to the extent that I am now. And when I was just getting started on this journey, I had this aha moment on how I was holding my own self back. And let me tell you why. I was living in fear because of my mother wounds. And you've probably heard several of the episodes that I did around the motherless child and how when I was growing up, my mother was emotionally unavailable and it put a strain on our relationship to this day. And it's the reason that I created the motherless child guidebook, a sacred space for healing your mother wounds to number one, help me heal, but also support other women. So if you want to know more about that, I'll drop the link in the show notes for that as well. But I lived in fear because my mother walked away. My father wasn't present. I felt like everybody close to me was going to abandon me as well. And so that was a type of fear that I lived in. I was also a people pleaser, meaning I was always there helping everybody else, codependent in many of my relationships. And because I have this serving spirit and I love to help, I just thought that that was natural. The issue with that is that I was so busy helping and supporting other people that I didn't even see my own flaws and how I needed to pour into myself the same way, if not more, that I was pouring into other people. And then the issue with that is that when you're someone who gives and gives and gives from an empty cup, then people become dependent on you. And when you finally own your voice, then that's when an issue can start and you have to put proper boundaries in place. Another thing is I didn't know my own worth, nor did I know my power. So I played small because I lacked self-confidence. Because again, my mother didn't validate me. She didn't affirm me. She made me feel like I wasn't good enough. So that showed up in my personal and my business life. You know, this all ties back to childhood stuff because whenever something wasn't going right in my life, it was easy for me to blame my parents for their lack of parenting. And it 
allowed me to make excuses for where I was in my life. So if I didn't get the job, if I didn't get into the college or whatever would happen or didn't happen, it was easy for me to just blame my parents and make excuses as to why I wasn't moving forward in my life. And in actuality, I was holding my own self back and keeping myself in this emotional jail or emotional bondage that I had to realize that only I could free myself. And if I didn't do something, I would forever be stuck in a rut, going through a cycle of life just existing. And I did not want that at all. So several years ago, I had this moment where I was like, you know, I feel lost. I feel like something is missing from my life. I desire more. And I got to start by doing the inner work and growing so that I can be better. And that is what I did. I started freeing myself from fear, being a people pleaser, making excuses, you know, building my self-confidence. So then now I can fully say to you with boldness that I love my life. I love the life that I'm living right now. I feel so full and it's such a beautiful feeling. And I know it's because I've been doing this in a work that I'm teaching you today. And I know that I'm not alone because I see women daily on social media or in person who are emotionally stuck. They are allowing their fears hold them back. They're codependent in relationships. So they're a people pleaser, giving and giving and giving when they have nothing left to give. And in return, they feel burned out. So when I encourage them to pursue their dreams and their goals, they have nothing left to give because they've given so much of themselves to other people. Then they make excuses. Well, it's because of money. It's because of the job. It's because of where they live as the reason of why they're not trying to move forward in their life. And then they don't believe in themselves enough that it's possible. So they lack self-confidence. And my goal in every message that I share with you is to teach you how do you be free? How do you be free to live a life that feels good to you inside and out? And so I vowed that when I started this company, as I'm learning things, I'm taking you ladies on a journey with me, that I'm going to teach you what I'm learning and whatever works for you, you can apply it. And what doesn't, you can ignore it. Because at the end of the day, I know deep in my heart, the reason that you listen to this podcast each week, the reason that you follow me on Instagram or Facebook is because you want to be free and you see how I am glowing and you want that same thing for yourself. And so I'm going to give you a resource that's actually going to help you. And that resource is called the five day guided writing practice to emotional freedom. It is a project that I am deeply, deeply proud of that I just announced this week. And I spent a lot of time really creating this free resource for you to really help you start to do the inner work to grow. And My mission, my goal is to help my Be Free family, aka my BFFs, start to work through your stuff. And I'm going to support you on your journey to becoming free. And it's exactly what I wish I had when I was getting started. In fact, everything that I create, everything that I do is what I wish I had in the beginning. And so now I'm sharing that with my audience and my community. So that way you can move a little bit faster than I was able to. So the five-day guided writing practice to emotional freedom is a journal, if you will. It's a guidebook that's really beautiful with writing prompts. And the reason that I wanted it to be a guidebook with writing prompts is because journaling has been my therapy. It has healed me in so many ways and is how I became free. How I started becoming free is through writing and not just writing, but answering very specific questions and then taking action. So when I created this digital guidebook that I really want you to print out and put pen to paper, it was to give you a beautiful piece of work that you can write out your answers to. You have note pages in it as well. So then that way you can reflect. And I didn't just want to provide you with the digital workbook, but I also wanted to give you lovely audio messages from me. So then that way I can guide you through each section. And I am really proud of it. Many of you guys have told me I have a soothing voice. So I really hope you enjoy listening to the audio messages as you work through the guidebook. And as you work through 
what it means to free yourself from people pleasing, self doubt, making excuses and fear that by the end, I want you to be in a place where you're starting to free yourself to say yes to your dreams. And this is not an overnight process. You are on a journey. You're not trying to get to a destination. So this is a great starting point, no matter where you're at in your journey. And so it's absolutely free. The link is in my show notes. And that is your action step for this week to download it. Okay print out the workbook so you can actually write. And then I want you to share the link with a friend. I want you to snap a picture of it and tag me at Be Free Project in your IG stories or even on your IG feed or on Facebook or on Twitter. Um, When I pop on Twitter, I'll check it out. I'm not on there as often. I spend most of my time on Instagram, so that's where you can catch me. But I want you to print it out. I want you to not only print it out, but to take time for yourself and do the inner work, okay? And then I had a few people tell me that it was going to their spam or promotion or junk folder. So what I need you to do, when you get that first email from me, save my email address in your contacts, whitelist my email, so then that way you never miss any of the emails that I send out to you. So that is your action step and your homework for this week. And I'm excited to hear from you. And also, I do want you to connect with me on Instagram. Again, that's where I spend the most time, at Be Free Project. And every week, I put out inspirational videos. So in addition to this podcast, you can get inspirational videos right in my IG feed um, that I know you're going to enjoy. And it's just little messages that help you get through your day. So you can follow me, at Be Free Project. And continue, continue, continue to share my podcast out. I'm really excited. I have over 90,000 downloads, which is amazing to me. So I know that's all because of the support that you guys give to the podcast. So please share the link with your friends. You can text them the link. You can share it with them on social media. Just tell them, hey, girl, hey, go listen to the Girl Be Free podcast. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you for being a part of the Be Free family community. I deeply appreciate you. And I'm excited to hear about how you're going to get emotionally free as you start to do the inner work. So until next time, girl, be free. Hey, Be Free family. I want to personally invite you to the Be Free meetup. It is my in-person event where you will find your community of women to grow with. Just think of it as finding your new best friend that can go on this personal growth journey with you. I know you want that. I know you need that. And that is why I created it just for you. So I have an event coming up. So all you have to do is go to BeFreeMeetup.com to purchase your ticket. Again, BeFreeMeetup.com and come grow with us.